Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to share a few tips and shortcuts for inserting Excel tables. So here I have a regular range of data and I want to convert this to an Excel table. And one way to do this is by selecting any, any cell inside the range here, going to the Insert tab and then choosing Table keyboard shortcut is control T. So I could just go here into my table, hit control T on the keyboard. That'll bring up this create table window here. I'll hit OK, and that will insert the table. Now I had this gray fill color in the header row here, and Excel does not automatically change that style. It doesn't override that when it inserts the table. So we might want to do this, and one quick way to do that is if you go to the table uh, design tab, and then it, within the table styles here, this is the style that's currently selected, the default style, and you can just right click that and choose apply and clear formatting. Sorry if that's outside of your screen, it says apply and clear formatting. I'll click that and that will clear that header row formatting and then apply the styles uh, or the properties from the style. So it actually takes a few steps there to do insert table uh, if you have some formatting applied to the data range already. So there's another way to do this and I'm first just going to hit control Z a few times to undo my changes there, convert this back to a regular range. And another way is from the Home tab. So over here, we have this Format uh, as Table menu. And clicking this will bring up the gallery of all the different styles. And here you can select a style and apply that when you're creating the table. Actually, apply it before you create the table. And you can also take that extra step here to right click and choose apply and clear formatting. So if you do have some formatting existing here like I do in my header row with that gray fill, choose this first. That'll still bring up this window here. We'll click OK and then it'll apply all of those changes all at one time. So this method can definitely be a little faster if your range has some existing formatting applied or if you don't want to use the default table format that Excel automatically applies to new tables. If you're enjoying this video, please click that big red subscribe button below the video to subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell icon there to get notified when new videos are published. And there are a few keyboard shortcuts for this method. So I'm going to again undo this and uh, what we can do is use Alt H and then T, the letter T, uh, we'll press the uh, format as table menu here. And from here, the uh, active uh, table style is this one right here. You can see a gray box around it. And you can actually use the arrow keys here to select a style that you'd like and uh, then hit enter to go ahead and apply that. So we'll hit OK here and that will apply that. Now it doesn't apply it with uh, and clear the formatting. However, there is a shortcut for that as well. So again, I'm going to hit Control Z here. So I'm going to again use Alt H T. But now if your keyboard has a menu key, you can press the menu key. It's usually to the right of the space bar, to the right of the alt key. And I'll put a, a link to a post below this video that explains more about the menu key. Uh, but I'll hit the menu key there. That'll bring up the right click menu. And then you can see here the underlined letter for apply and clear formatting. That underlined letter there, that accelerator key is the letter C. So if I just hit C on the keyboard, that will do all of that for me hit enter and now that uh, table style has been applied with the addition or the original formatting cleared. And then one additional tip here, if you always want to apply the same style, I'm going to again undo this. Uh, one thing we can do is we can go into this uh, format as table menu or the table styles menu. Let's say we always want to use this style within this workbook. I'm going to right click and hit duplicate. And uh, we can, of course, make changes here as well to the formatting and, and customize this further. But we'll just say OK for now. And then that's going to put that new custom style right here in the first position within this menu. So now if I go Alt H T, that's going to bring up this menu with this one here selected. I could hit enter if I didn't need to apply and clear. If I do need to apply and clear, just menu C and then enter and that will uh, insert the table and apply and clear that formatting for that style that I like to use. Now this only works in this workbook, so if you have other workbooks, you'd have to do that same step there of duplicating whatever style it is that you like and putting it right there in the number one spot uh, in the custom menu. 
But then in the future, in this workbook, whenever you're inserting a table, you can use those shortcuts uh, to insert it very quickly. So I hope those tips are helpful. If you're new to Excel tables, I'll put a link in the description below this video to another video I have on a beginner's guide to Excel tables. If you have any other questions or suggestions for how you insert tables and ways that you do it, uh, please leave a comment below as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.